had to laugh a little at the description of the cagey canary on IMDb because it rather amused me. This is a 1941 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Tex Avery and Robert Clampett, written by Mike Maltese and Melvin Miller, with voices provided by Mel Blanc, Sarah Berner and Elvia Ullman. Both Berner and Ullman are credited as old woman. If anybody knows any more about that, please feel free to let me know. But the description on IMDb says, A cat, in brackets, not Sylvester, tries to capture a little canary bird, in brackets, not Tweety. And that it, it just it's always really interesting when Warner Brothers decide to do something. And then a little while later we see them finally landing on the formula and the animation design that we then see a lot of. Sylvester was about five years after this cartoon, four or five years. So they they'd not yet had Sylvester and Tweety. And I guess this is a look at what could have been, what Sylvester could have looked like and what Tweety could have looked like. And I have to say, I'm so glad that it's not the case. There's nothing wrong with it, but Sylvester and Tweety just have such iconic appearances that basically this cartoon is... It's interesting to watch, put it that way. The narrative itself is not that fascinating once you've seen a thousand and one Sylvester and Tweety cartoons, but obviously that's not fair to judge it in that way because this came first. We have a cat trying to get a canary as the description said. And um, we have um, the older woman character. And in fact, I don't even think she was that old, but IMDb refers to her as old woman. And she's obviously trying to save her precious canary. Also, I have to say, I'm really glad the granny character was, you know, turned into the granny that we know. And the things they do are okay. There's nothing that stood out to me as being particularly interesting. There's nothing the cat tried that I thought was overly clever. It wasn't a you know a dumb cat, but there wasn't anything that stood out to me as being particularly fascinating. And the bird just was fine. I didn't mind the bird character. I thought it was quite cute. It does have the classic canary yellow, so it's hard to look at it and not think of Tweety. Whereas the cat, the cat's dark furred, but not not black and white like Sylvester, which um, helps to some degree. Uh, it's okay. I really don't have too many other thoughts on this one because the actual cartoon itself is kind of bland. I'll be perfectly honest. It's not that interesting. I did like the colour palette. Uh, I loved the cat's facial expressions. Uh, the, the bird had some nice facial expressions too, but when the cat grinned and it was just, it was really cute and I really liked it. I thought the pacing was pretty good. And yeah, there are some bits of animation that I quite liked as well. But there's just nothing in it that I thought was particularly fascinating. Had Sylvester and Tweety, had this been them, had this been their... I mean, it, I assume this maybe was their decision to, you know, create a cat and bird that would go on to feature in regular cartoons. And of course, this didn't quite work. But had it been, I just feel like Sylvester and Tweety wouldn't have had as long a life. But... It's not too bad. It's not fair to judge it against Sylvester and Tweety, but it's also impossible not to. But the Cagey Canary on its own is fine. It is bland. Not that much happens that's interesting. But as I said, it's well animated. We have some good facial expressions. The pacing is good, even if what happens isn't that interesting. So really, it's on its own, it's not too bad.